Hello. This is a tutorial showing you the difference between uh, between converting your coordinate system or setting it with the settings. So in particular, this is the convert option and this is the settings option. So I'm going to go through both of those examples today. Uh, so first I'm going to add some photos. So I'm going to go here to add photos. Um, basically, this is a, a photo set that I, I captured. Uh, recently, so I'm just going to pick a couple of these flight lines and uh, no particular order um, and I'll show you where these are. So here are some photos that I brought in and if you look up here, this has these latitude and longitude. So if you want to see what your coordinate system is, you can go up here and go to settings and it defaults to WGS84 um, EPSG4326, which if you're using you know, data coming directly from the um, the uh, EXIF tags, you're going to probably have WGS84 data. So that's a good default. Now, if I know that this project's in uh, a particular place and I'm going to use Minnesota uh, State Plain Zone South as that example, I can actually convert these latitude and longitude coordinates uh, to Minnesota State Plain South. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so to do this, we're going to go uh, up here and I'll show you why you can't do this. And that is right here. So if I just want to change this to, to Minnesota South right there, might seem like a good idea, but then you can see the, the easting and the northern uh, don't change. The values do not change, just the, the, the description of them change. So you're basically telling the software that your data is in this coordinate system, which is, is not the case. We need to convert it. So I'm going to go back to WGS84, uh, and then you can see the data comes back. It looks good. And now I'm going to go to this convert option right here. And what this allows you to do is actually convert it from the existing system uh, to Minnesota State Plain South. And I don't have any markers, but it'll go ahead and convert those. And I'll be very careful about that because uh, ideally you're not collecting your ground control in WGS84. So I'm going to go to OK. And now you can see that this has reprojected these EXIF tags into uh, the uh, easting, northing, and altitude that seems fairly reasonable to the area. I think there's just a geoid separation there but that's pretty good uh, anyway uh, that's in a nutshell how you can either uh, set your coordinate system or convert your coordinates uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you on another tutorial soon uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you find value in this and if you have any other videos you want to see uh, please comment in the area below thank you